So Mark Henry, though, doing the smart thing, coming in with the bat. Gonna break up the pin. Oh, oh no. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications, and don't forget to hit that like button. Hey, oh, it's your boy, Mr. Faith. And we are back with another episode of this WWE Universe. And uh, yes, yes, we are going to finish this season um, before we move on to 2K22. Uh, and so in order to finish the season and not have it drag out forever before we go to 2K22, um, we're basically just going to do the pay-per-views. We're not going to do any of the between shows. And I'm going to try to catch you guys up on storylines for the matches as we see them. Uh, on tonight's card, we got Aleister Black versus Big Boss Man for the NXT title. We got Samoa Joe versus Rick Rude versus DDP and a triple threat title for the U.S. Championship. Uh, for the Intercontinental Championship, we got King Booker versus Smoke versus Mark Henry. Uh, and then we got a four-man Extreme Rules match for the number one contender for the SmackDown title um, between Randy Savage, Big E, Bret Hart, Chris Jericho. And then uh, for the women's title, we got Bree versus Trish. And then we have uh, Scorpion and Sub-Zero uh, defending against NWO and D-Generation X, who reunited yet again. And then we have uh, Shao Kahn versus Batista to uh, finish us off for the SmackDown title. So, tons of stuff on the card. Timestamps are in the video, so feel free to jump around. But we're not going to waste any more of you guys' time. We'll get right into it. And we'll do some talking throughout the matches to kind of catch you guys up on the story. And now, WWE presents Extreme Rules. All right, welcome to the Extreme Rules pay-per-view sold-out crowd here at uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And, uh, hey, man, they, before the show was starting, they were blowing the roof off the place. They were excited. Kicking the show off, we got Aleister Black versus Big Boss Man, NXT title on the line. And honestly, uh, this is deserving of an Extreme Rules match because Big Boss Man has come out uh, not once, not twice, but three separate times uh, to interfere with an Aleister Black promo or match and just absolutely brutalize them. Uh, even though I'm not showing you guys those shows, I am still simming through them one at a time, keeping track of notes and who's winning matches. Um, so that way we can determine, you know, who, who's the best uh, fit for these titles and what makes the best storyline. And, and this is definitely one deserving of an Extreme Rules match. Of course, it's the NXT title, so, you know, can't put them on the main event, but honestly, uh, you know, if this storyline was happening for any other title, it probably would be the uh, But, you know, some people would also say that this, this does feed into the narrative that, you know, Aleister Black uh, is not challenging the most competitive people. But honestly, I mean, it's NXT. You know, you're not going to have the best talent there. Um, you know, their developmental talent. And, and Big Boss Man has been asking for it. And we see the first weapon of the night already, a bat. Not been put to use, though. Big Boss Man able to rip it out of Aleister Black's hands. Able to give him a nice little uh, backbreaker there. And he goes back to work on him. He's been, like I said, decimating Aleister Black. Uh, after matches, in the middle of matches, in the middle of promos. Um, so, I mean, he's, he's definitely had his number. Um, Aleister Black has definitely been frustrated with him. Uh, he, he's certainly in his head, and that's saying something you know, for Aleister Black, right? Uh, for somebody being your head, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, we've got the slick reversal. Ooh, ooh, a nice little running uh, bicycle knee type thing there. Uh, big boss man, though, you know what I'm saying? He's old school with it. He's going to hit you with the basic stuff. You know, don't fear the, ki the, the, the man that knows a thousand kicks. You know, fear, fear the man that knows one kick. Don't fear the man that's done 10,000 kicks at one time. Fear the man that's done one kick, 10,000 plus kick. Yeah, something like that. All right. <laughs> we messed it up, but we, we fixed it. Cracked him open with the bat, by the way, and all that. We're a horrible commentator. Uh, hit him with that knee. Ooh, that's a big boot from the big boss. Uh-oh. What's he got here? Oh, mm, Alistair able to get out of trouble there in the corner. Oh, oh, using his speed and quickness there. But Big Boss Man, <laughs> using his size and strength for sure. He's got Aleister Black up on the top turnbuckle. What's he going for here? No, no, no. Ooh, ooh. 
Gets him with that arm drag and then just lifts him up. Doesn't give him any time to breathe. Oh, a spine buster. Oh, man. Yep. Yep. Going for the pin. Can he get it? One, two. Um, that was close. That was close. Big boss man <laughs> picking him up again, man. He, he's not been. Oh. That, that was. Uh, we might. Okay, I was going to say. <laughs> I was pretty sure. Uh, certain. Uh, I was pretty sure and certain that we was going to have a new NXT champ there. Uh, that was like a swinging sidewalk. I don't even know what that was. Ooh. The house are black. Using these resilience. Uh oh. Able to get out of trouble. Now he's setting them up. Mmm. Mmm. I still don't even know what that's called, but it looks devastating every time. And yeah, Boss Man's busted open. Oh, but he doesn't get the three count. It's a late. It's a late two. He kicks out at the late two. But, he, but you gotta do more. Though. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you're finishing maneuver, you know, and all, but you gotta do Okay, no. Here, here is his finishing maneuver. Ooh, Black Mass. Black Mass. Hits him with the Black Mass. He's gotta be one, two, three, right? Ref taking his time to count though. One, two, three. Okay, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. So Alistair Black retains. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I don't know. You know, storyline wise, um, there are plenty of people that are looking good. You know, Andrade is looking good. Um, Mojo Raleigh looks really good. Uh, and people are saying that that I mean, Alistair Black's a fighting champ. He's defending his title. You know. A lot. People just aren't liking who he's giving a title shot to, but you know, it is what it is. You know, if you, you champ and you can get to call those shots, so why not, right? Um, but hey, I, I thought it was a pretty good match. Quick, you know, that's what we needed. Uh, up next, <laughs> uh, the U.S. title is on the line. Samoa Joe defending against Rick Rude and DDP. And yes, you guessed it, an Extreme Rules match. All right, the second match on the card tonight. U.S. title on the line in the Extreme Rules match. And Samoa Joe is, is probably the most underrated champion that we have here on the show. Um, as, he, you know, he he's... Hold up, what is this? I got this. Okay. Uh, anyways, sorry, I got this notification that I thought was important. Um, he's probably one of the most underrated champions on the show. I mean, he, uh, Dolph Ziggler, of course, started off uh, the season, last season, as champ. But uh, he quickly took it from him. He has lost a title here and there, but he's probably been the most consistent figure uh, in our, um, in this entire episodic series. I mean, he's always in the title picture. Um, even sometimes, like, doing stuff in the, you know, the, uh, main event title picture, SmackDown title, Universal title. Uh, so, I mean, he's, and he's, he's always there. Um, you know, and I don't know why I keep calling it SmackDown title, the WWE Championship, Universal Championship, but, uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's always there. He's defending his title, you know, night in and night out, uh, pretty much every opportunity we gave him, uh, and against all sorts of competition. Triple threats, quad, quad, you know, fatal four ways, uh, big people, small people, any, anything you name it. He's, he's there, he's defending his title, um, he's doing his thing, you know. But right now, the Diamond Dallas Page taking it to him. In the ring, ooh. Nice little DDT there in the ring, Rick Rude. Biden this time. I don't know why I said Biden. Buying his time. <laughs> Samoa Joe, though, overcoming everything. He's got a little bit extra, you know, extra target on his back because he's a champion in this match, but uh, he's still able to overcome a lot of the obstacles. <laughs> the DDP can get it, too, though. Ooh, look at him. Standing tall. Here's the champ. Oh, Rick Rue will slide out of that. And that Ooh, and then pull him back in for a vicious clothesline. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, good chop. Samoa Joe says, nah, -uh, we're not going to waste any time with that. We're going to beat that with the kick to the gut. 
Samoa Joe, man, definitely throwing his weight around in this one, showing how strong he can be. Uh oh, DDT or DDT, DDP, not letting that one slide. Now he's got Rick Rude in the corner. Rick Rude says, "Uh, uh, hold up, wait, wait a second, man." <laughs> he's like, "No, it's me, it's me, it's DDP," and he goes, "Bang!" <laughs> Rick, Rick Rude able to catch it though, able to catch the bang. See what they're doing here is they're letting Samoa Joe you know, get a breather uh, on the ropes and boom, now he comes in with a clothesline himself. Rick Rude slides out the ring, catching his breath. Didi, ooh, a diamond cutter, a diamond cutter. It's over. He's got him in the middle of the ring, so he, he, he was smart. He went to the outside for the pin. One, two, ooh, oh my gosh, the diamond cutter. And look at that, bang. He's setting him up for it now. Uh oh, he's really feeling himself. Giving him a couple of close lines off the rope. Mm, but he doesn't see Rick Rude. Rick Rude. Oh, he does see Rick Rude. Rick Rude suffers a nice little big boot there. Uh oh. Now him and Rick Rude going back and forth. Uh oh. Oh, a nice little neck breaker. Oh. I don't know. That was actually that was kind of like a modified neck breaker there. He's going for the pin. We might have ourselves a new champ. One, two. Psych. DDP back to his feet. So in Samoa Joe, though, I don't think either of them realize that Joe is up. Joe's going to taunt to the crowd, though. DDP knows he's up now, though. He just doesn't have the gas. Oh, yes, he does. Mob. Oh, that's got to be it. He's got to put him out of commission with that. That's a second diamond cutter. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Wow. I thought we had ourselves a new champ there. I, th I thought we had ourselves in the chip. Ooh. Ooh, a little modified kind of natural selection right there. He's scooping up the leg. One, two, three. And he gets it just like that right under. Right under Rick Rude's nose. Wow. I think I've been calling him Bobby Rude the whole time. But, yeah, right under Rick Rude's nose. Rick Rude's nose. Jeez. Uh, wow. I, yo, DDP, like, dominated that whole match. Like, and not at first, but all of a sudden, as soon as he popped off that first diamond cutter, he was just on a roll, man. He, he knew exactly what he had to do from there. Nobody could stop him. And uh, and he pinned the current champ, too. So, you know, that's, that's the way to do it, right? You want to leave no doubt in anyone's mind. Uh, absolutely phenomenal performance by Diamond Dallas Page. And uh, he's a U.S. champ, man. He earned it. All right, next match of the night. Another triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, really, <laughs> you know, Mark Henry's been uh, back to reinducting people into his Hall of Fame. I mean, he's co coming out decimating people. King Booker, though, has also been on fire, right? Uh, he's had a little rivalry with Smoke one-on-one, -on -one, but uh, Mark Henry, in a recent episode on SmackDown, um, came out and decimated both of them. Um, so, I mean, you know, they're, they're here at Extreme Rules, having the Extreme Rules match. Uh, you know, uh, this, part of this, like, I, I like this kind of stuff. And we'll, we'll talk about this, you know, breaking the fourth wall here a little bit. But you know, let's talk about WWE 2K22, right? I got a whole Extreme Rules pay-per-view here, okay? And here we are in a triple threat match, and nobody's getting a weapon, Right? Like, like the person will just sit there and like taunt to the crowd and everything while the other two people are fighting. They won't pick up a weapon. Like we just saw a whole triple threat match, no weapon. Um, and it's extreme rules. Like that's you want to see that. I mean, I'm not saying that they all need to just duck out and roll out of the ring as soon as the bell rings and grab a weapon. Man, you, know, you, you definitely want to see it at some point in the match. Um, maybe that's oh, see, like Mark Henry. Mark Henry should have got back into the ring with a weapon, right? That's just what he should have done. But instead, he's going to break up. Ooh, he's going to interfere with smoke. Ooh. Ooh. So all the SmackDown titles are on the line here tonight. Intercontinental Championship, WWE Championship, and the – or so WWE Tag Team Championship and the WWE Championship. And I'm going to fix that, 
I'm gonna fix that so we don't have that stuff continue to pop up. But uh, oh, oh, look at this! Booker T turns his attention to Mark Henry instead. Uh oh, he's gonna hit him with a little bit of uh, scissor kick action. He's gonna go for the pin. Can he get it? One. He's not getting a rope break. Two. Oh wow, that's a lot of strength. A lot of strength. So he's gonna kick out. He's gonna kick out of a lot. Oh wow. And like I said, a lot of strength. So he can do stuff like that. That doesn't look like it's too, too damaging. But when he does it, mm, it packs in power. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh, oh, oh, gonna close my Mark Henry like that? But uh, yeah. So the Triangle of Terror, man. They got a chance to to pull off the trifecta. You know, if Smoke can retain, uh, if if you know, Sub Zero and Scorpion can retain. Uh, and then, of course, if what? What? He pull out nuts and then miss? You know, and then if Shao Kahn can defeat Batista later tonight, then they will they will have all the gold on SmackDown, uh, which of course was Shao Kahn's goal and why he uh, supposedly dropped the title at uh, WrestleMania. So Mark Henry though doing the smart thing, coming in with the bat, <laughs> gonna break up the pin. Oh. Oh no, the world's strongest man hitting you with a baseball bat like that. Oh yeah, and he, and he only needs to hit you once. His work is done. His work is done. And he's gonna pick you up. Oh, oh no. Oh, that little headbutt thing that Mark Henry did for a long time there. Yeah, I forgot about that. That was, I don't know why. Uh oh, uh oh, he's, oh, oh wow. Wow. Booker T, though, going to run some interference. Mark Henry says, no, today, not today. Oh, Mark Henry rolling over Smoke's lifeless body. One, two. Oh, got the kick out. Got the kick out, but he's not done. He's not done. I think that if I think what he's thinking, if he's thinking what I'm thinking, He's going to go for the World's Strongest Slam here, but Smoke fighting back with all of his heart. Smoke going to lift up Mark Henry, open over his shoulders for the last ride. But he doesn't realize. Oh, he does realize. He does realize Booker T's in the ring. Going to hit him with a neck breaker to get him out of the way. Now Smoke's feeling himself. The current champion looking to retain. Ooh. Oh, what's he doing here? Uh-oh. Ooh. I like that. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, he's on fire now. Oh, oh, spinning <laughs> neck breaker. And he's going to try to go for the pin on that one. One, two. Oh, he almost got it. Mark Henry, though, getting back up. He see, no, he, he's not paying Mark Henry any attention. Now Booker T's back up. He sees Mark Henry too late. Oh, and then Booker T off the distraction. Booker T able to take out Mark Henry too. Is it going to be Booker T's time? What's he doing here? What's he doing here? Oh, he's getting a little extra leverage on the pin. One, two. The ref sees it last second, though. Ref saw it last second. Breaks the count. Oh, oh, good knee to the gut. By trip, or, sorry, by Booker T there. Oh, jeez. Mark Henry sends him flying. Oh, and then gets clobbered by Smoke. He did not see him at all. He's going to go for the pin. I don't think that's going to do it. And yeah, Mark Henry's too big and too strong. To, you're going to have to do a lot to keep him down. I mean, look at that. Clubbing close to the ribs. Ooh. Used his big man's momentum against him. No way. He's going to do it a second time. A second time. Wait, what is he doing here? What's he doing here? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. He's going for the pin. It's not a rope break. One. Two. And he retains. And still, your Intercontinental Champion, Smoke. Hey, that was full of thrills, man. That was full of thrills. But you, you knew it was his, man. He just started to feel himself, and he, and he caught fire there. Um, so, I mean, you know, hey, great performance by him. And uh, that's, that's one out of three steps to, to complete that trifecta uh, for the Triangle of Terror. So, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of hoping they get it. But, you know, just because just I want to see a whole faction have all the gold. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that would be a nice way to end our, our little series. All right, up next, a little break from the title action, kind of. So we have a four-man uh, Extreme Rules match 
for the number one contendership, the WWE Championship. Uh, whoever wins here tonight will face uh, the WWE Champion, the, the winner of Shao Kahn and Batista, um, at Hell in a Cell. So, uh, and, and for those of you who didn't watch the last episode, or maybe you did watch the last episode and you wondering why, we're having a rematch between Shao Kahn and Batista later tonight because, um, well, at the end of Money in the Bank, they, they main evented and... Uh, at the end of Money in the Bank, they, uh, Shao Kahn won, but uh, won via countouts. So uh, he felt like Batista purposely didn't get back into the ring in time. Uh, you know, and Batista's like, well, you know, you, you should have, you know, gotten into the ring, blah, blah, blah. So they're doing an extreme rules match where, where uh, none of that matters, right? Champion's advantage is out the window, so to speak. So. That's what they're doing here tonight. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that affects everything. Um, but of course, this, you know, whoever wins this is obviously going to have their eye uh, on that match later tonight. And of course, uh, with Money in the Bank being out of the way and all of these uh, briefcases floating around uh, at any given event from here on out, um, you know, is going to have. It could potentially have that extra little layer of excitement to it. So, um, always something to look out for there. But uh, right now, everybody outside the ring, uh, Big E saying, look, man, I don't want anyone to get these weapons out because I don't need them, and I don't want anyone using them against me. You hear a humming in the background. It's apparently my wife is vacuuming downstairs or <laughs> somewhere. Uh, um, uh oh, Big E got him up and over. Bret Hart though sliding in the ring. He says no, no, no. This match still does have to be won in the ring. Um, for those of you who unaware, I mean Big E. Uh, you know he had a shot against Don Cena um, and lost. It was a heartbreaking loss. But, you know, he, he's still been pretty dominant uh, in the individual scene since. Randy Savage uh, has also been putting on a good showing. Um, and then, of course, you know, Bret Hart, uh, Chris Jericho. Uh, they were just kind of like tossed in here, I guess. I, I, I'm i not exactly sure how they made it. You know, they, they just, they made it, you know. Okay, Big E displaying that power. Oh, but not that awareness. <laughs> not that awareness. The Macho Man was looking to go up top for a second. Realized that he probably wasn't going to have enough time to get up there, get nice and secure, get everything set up. But instead, he's going to lift up the big man up and over for the suplex. He realizes, uh-oh, uh-oh. Bret Hart, though, getting in his way. Chris Jericho cutting off <laughs> Randy Savage. That's the top turn buckle. Chris Jericho, what's he looking for here? A superplex, perhaps. Yes, sir. Oh, and right on to Big E. Right on to Big E. Oh, my gosh. Big E slow to get up. Oh, oh. But able to turn the tables on Bret Hart. And now, Chris Jericho. Has Randy Savage in the walls of Jericho. Big E. Okay. For whatever reason, just decided not to break it up. Instead, decided to let Randy Savage do that himself. Going to hit him with a big splash. And then Bret Hart, I'm just going to sit there and watch. And wait for Big E to... Oh, psych. Psych. Oh, a nice little roll through. Catch him with the drop toe hold. And then... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh, what's he going for here? Nope, nope, not enough, not enough substance. Too much, too much, you know, banging on him. You know what I'm saying? Giving him too much time to react. Same move, Salmon, if you will. Ah, uh, hits, hits Bret Hart with the trip, uh, with the big ending. Goes for the pin, even though Chris Jericho and Randy Savage are both there. I don't know if he just thought that they were, weren't paying attention with, to him or what, but they gang up on him and, and throw him out the ring pretty quickly. Now it's Chris Jericho and Bret Hart. They both want Bret because he just got that big ending done. But Bret, can he roll him through? Yes, he can. 
He's got Chris Jericho in the sharpshooter, but he's right there in the corner. Doesn't really matter, though. Randy Savage is going to break it up. Then he's going to turn the tables on Big E again. And they don't want Big E to get into this matchup. Uh oh, Bret Hart going for the pin. And he gets it just like that. Oh my gosh. Randy Savage had taken out Big E. Randy Savage was looking under the ring to, to get a weapon. And in that time, Bret Hart able to get the sneaky victory, if, if I do say so, over Chris Jericho. Um, very well-timed pin attempt there. And it looks like Bret Hart is your number one contender. So uh, he is going to have a shot against uh, the winner of Shao Kahn and Batista at Hell in a Cell. He, he will have a title shot for the WWE Championship. So, of course, look at him, man. He's thrilled. He's loving it. And why wouldn't he? Uh, he's absolutely earned it. Hey, I, I said I didn't know why he was in it, but I guess we know why now, right? All right, up next, we got Trish Stratus versus Brie Bella. Women's title. Uh, women's WWE Championship on the line. All right. Brie Bella, still your champion in the end of last season. She's been defending it and uh, defending it well, I might add, against a variety of people. Night in and night out, she shows up to compete, too. Uh, people absolutely love her as champ. Trish Stratus uh, had a little had a little spat with Lita again, uh, which I'm sure probably will never officially end. But um, you know she's on top for now. She's looking really good, so uh, it just makes sense to give her a title shot. I mean she's been on fire on the show, high up on the power rankings and all. But uh, right now though, Bree able to take it to her. Uh oh, what we got here? Ooh, ooh, gotta love that. First up and over. Then down and under. Hits her with the drop kick. Trish, she's tough. If we know anything about her, it's that she can take a beating. See, look, she's smart. She's smart. She's gonna get out there. She's gonna grab the weapon. What she got? A baseball bat. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're fighting for it on the outside of the ring. Now Bree's got it. She stole it from her. Ooh, she missed. She missed. Trish was able to get her. Miss Owen out the fight for it again, and Trish comes up with it. Oh, oh, but Bree with a stiff elbow right before Trish could do anything. Trish lets go of it, says, you know what? This hand, this handled his hand to hand, uh, one man to one man style. <laughs> you know, a little fisticuffs, and here they are trading blows on the outside of the ring back and forth. I don't even know who's going to come out with the upper hand, I couldn't even begin to speculate on that one the bat at their feet whoever wins this little altercation here will probably be able to grab that bat and inflict some damage so they both keep fighting uh oh Bree able to get her in the hole by the back of the hair but there's no rules oh 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 Trish fighting out with some elbows to the gut though oh a stiff elbow for Trish and then oh uh oh uh oh oh spine buster on the outside of the ring Trish taking her time to gloat to the crowd. She's not even going to go for the bat. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bree able to reverse it. Gets her up and over with the suplex. Oh, man. Oh, nice little driving that knee, you know, into the back right there. Trish. Oh, says fluff your knee. <laughs> oh, no. Bree going to walk right past the bat. And not even bother to pick it up. You gotta be kidding me. You know what I'm saying? And again, this is okay. She got her in like a, what we would call an STFU, but you know, you, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, this is this is uh, it's an extreme rules match. Okay, pick up the bat, right? Pick up the bat. Like, so they got a baseball bat out and didn't use it in an extreme rules match. Um, so we just saw a triple threat match where no one even got a weapon out. Uh, Fatal four way where someone got a weapon out as the match was ending. And now this match where so far we someone got a weapon out but no one used it. So uh, it's very frustrating just to have these to have an entire Extreme Rules pay per view and have none of the AI get any weapons out. 
hopefully they fix that in this upcoming game. Hopefully they, they add something to their algorithm that um, can calculate that or change the AI's behavior toward, toward weapons uh, when they're illegal. But um, maybe not, or at least like in the extreme rules matches. I mean, you know, no disqualifications match. You know, you don't have to have weapons on, but this is an extreme rules paper. You know, we want to see weapons. As I'm saying all that, though, Trish able to win the exchange. Got Bree in the center of the ring. Mm, gonna work on that thigh. Uh oh, sight. Bree able to sucker Trish in. Kind of a modified Hurricane Rana. From the ankles, though, instead of from the knees. Uh-oh, she's got her in the S-lock in the middle of the ring. Oh, my, this could be bad. This could be bad. Trish able to break the grasp, though. She didn't have it locked in all the way, but got to wonder how much damage uh, has been done to that elbow joint. Oh, 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 a nice drop kick to the back. Oh, Trish, though, going to do her dirty. Grab her by the hair. Slam her to the mat. Now she's just staring at her for whatever reason. Psych! Gonna hit her with that, uh, <laughs> that Sid Vicious Spine Buster. What's she going for here? Ooh! Ooh, a juicy kick. And she's calling for it. Yep, she's calling for it. Bree, though, has it scouted. Gets her with that clothesline in the corner. Ooh! 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 Grinding that knee into the facial features. The beautiful facial features of Trish Stratus. Going for the pin. She's gonna get a kick out of two though. Bree's gotta do something big here. She wants to put Trish away. What are we going for here? Uh-oh. The monkey flip. Sending Trish across the ring. Not enough though. Very weak kick out by Trish though. We gotta note that. We gotta take that into consideration. It's a very weak kick out by Trish. Bree. Getting the crowd hyped up. Yes, yes, yes. They're all chanting. She's going for another pin though. So that probably not a great great maneuver there, but okay. She's got her up. Oh, another stiff elbow. But Trish able to dodge the second one. Give her an elbow of her own. Trish calling for it, and Bree, look at that. Look at the ring awareness. Able to roll out of the ring. You, you don't have the champion's advantage here of getting counted out, but you do have to be pinned or submitted in the ring. And, um, you know, Bree knows that, so she's able to buy herself some time here. Maybe she can weather the storm and uh, get herself back together. And that's what, it looks like that's what she's doing here with the yes kicks. Yes! Is everyone chances <laughs> she gets that last kickoff? All right, she's got Trish up. Oh, hitting that head against the apron, the hardest part of the ring there. Tossing Trish into the ring. Uh oh, she's headed to the top rope. High risk territory here. Oh, and Trish rolls out of the way. Bree falls right on her butt, and, and somehow. Uh, still in control of this match, though. Able to recover quickly. Headed to the corner where she's just going to kind of sit back and relax. Oh, wait a second. She's coming out to Trish. Oh, no. No, Trish. Ooh. Able to block that. Hit her with the elbow and then another spine buster. Now Trish is on the prowl. Trish has control of the narrative. Oh, sight. Just kidding. It's been Bree the entire time. Another stiff elbow. Trish able to roll out of the waist lock. Able to hit her in the back on the follow-up. Now she's got her by the hair. She's walking her over to the steel steps. Nope, Sykes She's going to the corner, but Bree able to get out of it. Maybe she's fighting. Okay. All right, Bree. Oh, what do we... Ooh. Little running bulldog action there. On the outside, it's... That mat's not that thick, y'all. That mat's not that thick. Ooh. That sit down face buster. The problem is you got to get into the ring now. From that. Gosh, these elbows are absolutely Sid Vicious. Ooh. Ooh, it looked like Trisha wanted it there. The thing is, though, you got to get her into the ring. Ooh. 
Oh man, I feel like Trish is going going for this uh, super kick. Not even a super kick. What do you call that? A roundhouse kick. Uh oh. Uh oh. She's got her locked in, but it's on the outside of the ring. So she can't win here. Bree able to break it. Ooh, and roll through. Nice little slick way to get out of there. And uh, Trish gonna just quickly gather herself, throw Bree back in the ring, and go for a cover off of uh, the Irish whip. Into the ring, nice. Both these superstars coming to their feet. Oh, oh no. Oh, she's got the yes, 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 yes. And that's got to be game. She is, she's rolling the body over. Got the leg hooked. One, two, three. Wow. And Bree retains again. Uh, yo, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I did not expect her to uh, be champ this long. Did not expect it at all. But uh, she's been putting on a heck of a performance. Uh, and, and the crowd loves her as champ. So, uh, Journey's been amazing. Her championship run has been amazing. And uh, she's living it up to the fullest. And it's probably going to be her last run in the WWE. But, hey, who cares, right? All right. The second to last match of the night, we got the WWE Tag Team Championships on the line. And uh, kind of a weird stipulation. It's, it's an elimination uh, triple threat tag team match. Um, for those of you who are unaware, um, this will be an elimination style match, but both members of each team has to be eliminated. So for example, uh, if Kevin Nash were to get pinned, uh, Scott Hall is still going to be in the match. He can still win the match uh, for his team uh, and win the titles for, for both of them. So you're going to see at least, uh, well, I guess at most, uh, looks like we froze there for a second. So it looks like we're back now, but uh, you're going to see uh, five eliminations, maybe four eliminations uh, at the very least. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. But all the eliminations do have to occur inside the ring, so we're going to focus on that action. Uh, really, really, storyline behind this, um, NWO made a debut, you know, made a comeback debut, getting together uh, on an episode of SmackDown. And uh, the crowd, I mean, it was phenomenal. The crowd reaction they got was crazy. Uh, they came out, um, cut a promo, a vicious promo on a scoreboard of Sub-Zero. Uh, torn to bits and pieces, right? Uh, next week, they're getting ready to have a match with Scorpion Sub Zero. And uh, all of a sudden, Degeneration X music kicks. Triple H comes out. He starts talking. All of a sudden, Shawn Michaels comes out. You know what I'm saying? The whole Degeneration X, they back together, right? They go down to the ring, they wreak havoc. Mess up the whole match. The match didn't even happen. And you know what I'm saying? At the end of the night, it's D Generation X theme music that's playing. All right, so here we are, Extreme Rules. We got the whole squad in here. And it uh, looks like Shawn Michaels and Triple H are getting things done. Oh, there we go. Uh oh. We got Scott Hall, Kevin Nash working together as a unit. Sub Zero taking a breather on the outside. Orby. Not looking too good in there. Oh, taking a big boot. Nash. Now even DX and NWO are teaming up uh, on Scorpion. Shawn Michaels and Kevin Nash even. Oh, he's going to. Oh, no, Shawn. Why'd you have to interrupt him like that, Shawn? He was about to go for that Jack Knight powerbomb. Put this man out of commission. Sub Zero, though, rolling in. Oh, Sub Zero going to save him. Uh oh, all the while though, Triple H hitting Scott Hall with that pedigree. One, two. Ooh, Kevin Nash. He's going to break the pin. Kevin Nash. Triple H trading blows. Scorpion getting involved in that. Triple H going for that high knee. Hits it. Oh, and Scorpion. 
Scorpion hits a vicious clothesline. Now Scorpion is sub zero. Standing tall, and the crowd absolutely hates him. They're booing him to death. Uh, you know, these guys, Triangle of Terror, uh, nobody likes this faction whatsoever. Uh, they're coming in, they're winning all the gold. Oh, gosh, Muscle Buster there on Triple H. He got bad muscles, anyways. One, two, three. Triple H out of here. One half of D Generation X. It's been eliminated. Shawn Michaels. All right, sorry. Just got word from the, somebody in the back. The match has been changed. Sorry, just messing with you. Uh, but just got word from somebody in the back. Uh, this next match. Oh, wait, wait a second. Oh, Shawn Michaels has been pinned. So now D Generation X is gone entirely. And this is just the NWO versus, versus uh, Sub-Zero and Scorpion here. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, and it's not looking very good. They're looking pretty dominant, if I do say so myself. Taking time to, to even uh, chant to the crowd. Oh, man. But now Scott Hall. Uh-oh, he's setting them up. He's setting them up. He's got them up and over. Can he get the razor's edge? Executed. Oh, no one has ever kicked out of this maneuver before. And Scorpion rolls out of the ring. Oh, wow. What ring awareness. Even in a tag team uh, match as crazy as this one. Uh, the awareness to roll out of there. Save yourself. Uh, you know, but hey, you might have hurt your teammate in the, in the uh, you know, in the middle of all that. Saving yourself because the double team is sub zero on the outside. But he's actually fighting them all, so. Okay, here we go. Sub-Zero. Got Razor in the ring. Uh, or Scott Hall, whatever you want to call it, right? Gives him that vicious DDT. Now he's out of there. It's just Sub-Zero and Kevin Nash. 1v1. He's got him up and over. Ah, uh, give him that finishing maneuver. But he can't he capitalize. It's okay. Scorpion can, though. One, two... Three, he's out of here. Now this is a, just a formality. At this rate, there's no way Scott Hall stands a chance against these guys. First of all, these guys are tag team champions, all right? It's not like you're just facing two Randys, okay? These are tag team champions. You're not going to beat the tag team champions by yourself. It's just not possible. Uh, the question is, how much are they going to fiddle with this man before they put him out of commission? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, my gosh. On the back of his neck. One, two, three. Wow. Didn't fiddle with him at all. They were all about the business today. Didn't want to take any chances uh, of any eliminations going sideways. Uh, able to, to retain. So that's that's step two of three uh, for the Triangle of Terror uh, to, to sweep SmackDown as a whole and uh, get all the gold. Uh, up next, we got Shao Kahn versus Batista for the WWE Championship. So Shao Kahn can win. Uh, mission complete. You know, mission accomplished. Uh, but man, these guys are are looking pretty scary in, in that WWE title di uh, division. I don't know who's going to take these titles from them. Uh, but you know, we've said that about people before, so uh, you know we know what, what usually comes after that. So I'm not going to jinx them too much. But hey, main event starts right now. All right, the main event is here of this Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Shao Kahn versus Batista, for those of you who are unaware, this is a rematch, all right? It's a rematch from Money in the Bank main event where Shao Kahn absolutely dominated Batista, um, left him lifeless on the outside of the ring, and won via count out, but, um, of course, you know, that means that Batista still retained, and so Shao Kahn was like, look, man, uh, you know, you, you know, you're just ducking me. You've been ducking me the whole time, and and uh, I've been dominating you. I've been manhandling you, and that title should be mine. Uh, and and I think that you purposely just laid there because you didn't want to get back up to continue to beat it. You didn't want to fight for your title. You wanted to be sleazy. Yada yada yada. And and, and you know, Batista with that double cash in. I mean, he won the title in a sleazy way. So you know, people are buying into that theory, right? And it's not like Shao Kahn has ever really truly been beaten. So, 
uh, you know, it, he can talk all the crap that he wants. Um, you know, he had an upset loss against Don Cena, uh, you know, on an episode of Monday Night Raw, which led to a title match where he dropped the title to Don Cena, which he said he did on purpose so he could come to SmackDown, which was a superior brand, um, and, and hold all the gold with Triangle of Terror. Which, for those of you who don't know, is composed of Shao Kahn being the, the obvious leader, uh, Smoke, and then Scorpion and Sub Zero as well. Um, and look at this. So, so here, you know, we have an Extreme Rules match. You know, there's no uh, count out, there's no disqualification. Uh, the only way that Batista is going to get out of this uh, champion tonight is by getting uh, the pinfall or the submission. But uh, as you can see, everyone's cheering for Batista. Uh, despite him winning the title in a questionable, sleazy way, some people, a lot of people thought, hey, it was genius. It's never been seen before. Uh, you know, he kept a he kept a briefcase. He cashed it in against a ref that was unaware that's already been cashed in. And, and um, you know, it, I mean, it was absolutely genius, right? Uh, and, of course, people absolutely hate Shao Kahn. And uh, they, they know that... Uh, even though they don't want to admit it, they know that once he wins his title, he's never letting it go. So, um, you know, they, they definitely don't want that. But, again, we're seeing a lot of what we saw on Money in the Bank. Same spot, too. Same same corner of, of the, the arena here uh, on the outside of the ring. Uh-oh. Ooh, another F5 on the outside of the ring. This time, though, he's got to get him back up and in. For the one, two, three to get that title. Oh my. And Batista just can't seem to mount any offense. And a, and a devastating drop kick from the big man. Now, though, Batista with the rake of the eyes. Able to mount some offense, literally. Able to hoist that big body up. But oh, yeah, Shao Kahn. Oh no, not again. A second F5 on the outside of the ring. This has got to be over. This has got to be over. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Looks like he was going to slam. Give him that little. Oh. Oh. That, that, my, I don't even know what slam that was, but Batista able to rake the eyes again and get out of it. Oh. And throws the big man into the ring post. Batista taking the time to compose himself. He's definitely busted open. He's got a big cut on his forehead, and it is leaking. Looks like he's measuring his man, though. Give him the old thumbs down. Uh, give him that Batista bomb. The problem is you got to get the pin, though. You're on the outside of the ring. He's rolling him in. Can Batista capitalize? You know, as dominant Shao Kahn's been, maybe, maybe Batista's just the guy that has his number. One, two, three, and Batista retains. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't, okay. A couple things. One, I don't know how Batista continues to beat Shao Kahn. Like, like consistently, but only when the title's on the line. When the title's not on the line, Shao Kahn ragdolls him. Batista continues to find a way to retain that title. Um, he got the briefcase. He cashed in the briefcase and won. He lost in a crazy elimination chamber match, but then through a gimmick, cashed in a second decoy briefcase. The ref was unaware, right? The ref just went with the flow and then forced his way in basically to the title picture that way. Won the triple threat match proceeding right lost against Shao Kahn but didn't be a count out so he retained the championship and then wins fair and square heads up in the ring tonight despite having a nasty cut on his forehead man wow wow that's wild that's crazy well it looks like a uh, triangle of Terra terror doesn't uh, get to complete the trifecta here uh, and, and get all the gold so you know, I don't know if there's any tensions with that group or not. Uh, I don't know if Shaq Khan is going to try to go back to the to Monday Night Raw. 
um, after he just openly called the SmackDown, you know, brand the, the superior brand. Um, I don't know what options he has from here. Uh, if we'll ever even see him in the title picture again, who knows? Um, wow. Wow, that was kind of a crazy. That was a, I, I'm still, that was not the result I was expecting, obviously. I don't think anyone was expecting that. I don't think anyone saw Batista getting out of here even alive, let alone still champion. But uh, here we are. Wow. Uh, for those of you guys who stuck around to the end of the video, man, I want to tell y'all I love y'all. I appreciate you. Um, we got some cool stuff coming for, for WWE 2K22. Start commenting now. If you guys are on Xbox, okay, if, if you're on Xbox and you want to be involved in this universe and have a direct hands-on experience, you can be, okay? Start hitting me up in the comments. Let me know what your gamer tag is, all right? Um, maybe maybe don't put it in the comments, all right? But just hit me up in the comments. Um, you know, I'll, I'll find a way to reach out to you. Or uh, hit me up through Xbox directly. But um, I'll find a way to reach out to you guys and, and get you guys involved. We're going to be doing some cool stuff with the storyline there. Um, and then also, uh, I'm going to be... Um, I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna be doing a lot of uh, interactive stuff throughout this next like uh, game cycle, and we gotta figure out how the my GM uh, universe or mode, whatever it's gonna be called, uh, is gonna work fully before I can figure out every like all the details about that. But we are gonna get you guys involved, and we're gonna try to do a giveaway and some other stuff as well. Uh, that being said, though, man, all the credit, all the glory, everything goes to God. Without him, I wouldn't have a thing. So I give him all the praise to everything that I do. Um, hey, the next episode uh, should be, hold on, let, let me see what it is. NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. So, uh, you know, hey, uh, until then, I love y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.